A common question we receive about the ice locks is, does the clamping force of the ice lock put outward stresses on the card or chassis or cause displacement? The friction locking feature of the ice lock prevents this from occurring. We will demonstrate this in a second, but first, a quick look at the principles involved. The ice lock is designed so that the vertical clamping force is the largest force generated. This vertical force generates friction forces in the horizontal directions. These friction forces are greater than the horizontal force generated by the ice lock, thereby preventing the card or chassis from moving. We will take a 375 series ice lock and install it into a chassis slot with a conduction card. We will only install the ice lock on one side of the card so that we can measure the other side of the card with a dial indicator. As you can see, we have the dial indicator zeroed and the ice lock is in position and ready to be torqued. As we tighten the ice lock, you can see there's no displacement of the card. Most importantly, these friction locking forces remain local to the clamping area. Learn more about ACT's ice locks on our webpage.